Our election coverage is all about inside what tonight's results will mean for business and for the markets. Last hour, you heard from Evercore CEO Ralph Schlostein. Right now, I'd like to welcome Morris Offa to the inside track. Morris is a Wall Street veteran who managed billions of dollars before selling his firm to Wachovia. He's now chairman of Offit Capital Advisors and a board member at AIG, someone who knows uh, much about the impact of economic policy, especially as it concerns TARP. Uh, Morris, I'd like to ask you this question to begin with. I mentioned that Ralph Schlostein was here. He said that what we may get out of this election is gridlock. And if we get gridlock, it's the worst possible thing that could happen to the economy. Do you agree? Absolutely not. Uh, the reason I don't agree is because the Republicans need a buy-in. The only way they have a buy-in is if they control the House. That's bipartisanship. The problems are too severe in this country to have in effect a monolithic kind of political system, one government. You need both parties that participate, as I said, Republicans, Democrats, and we'll see what a politician the president really is once he kind of co-opts the Republicans or they co-opt him. How optimistic, though, can we be for bipartisanship given the politics, you might say, of obstructionism that the Republican Party has been practicing for the last couple of years? Well, that's what I call negative energy. Negative energy really serves no purpose, certainly not in light of the problems that we face in this country. So obstructionism, when you're not a participant, means that you have a purpose. When you, in effect, are a participant, as they, if they do control the House, then they are, in effect, a colleague. Morris, you say the defining issue, or at least one of them in this election, is banking. It's not what most people would say. What do you mean by that ex exactly? The banks are the engine. They're the ones who, in effect, create the credit. If you don't create credit, then in effect, there's no flow through those. There is no financial firepower for the corporations, both medium-sized and large. And it's more a medium-sized problem, not the large companies. The large companies, as you know, can go to the open market and, as they have, finance at 1% or 2% interest rates. How do you finesse this issue of banking, though? Because, as you well know, there are legions of Americans who have nothing uh, but venom for the banking industry. They may want credit, but the last thing they want is for banks to be able to profit by lending them money. I think given what they've seen happen yeah, with TARP, I, I think, given what they've seen happen with the bailouts. I think they're really targeting the large banks. The, the big four, for example, the Wells, the Cities, Chase, B of A's. But this country exists on the community banks. And that's, in effect, the heartland of America. Not so much heartland, meaning the middle of the country, but both coast. And it's the smaller banks that provide the credit. Do you believe the president lost the confidence of the business community and if so what could a presidency weakened by a divided congress do to regain it well i think he became anti-business because it was in effect good political fodder but uh, i think he learned his lesson in other words he has to cooperate banks create excuse me business creates the jobs there's no other answer government doesn't create jobs now, you were saying earlier that you're optimistic, you're hopeful that, in fact, the Republicans take the House so we do get a divided Congress and the parties are forced into acting in a bipartisan fashion. Are you confident that the Republicans have better ideas and the wherewithal to create jobs and get the economy going again better than the Democrats have? I think ideas are shared by both parties, <clears throat> and otherwise they also have access to very good advisors. So I think it's the sense of the collegiality, crossing the aisle, let's join hands, in effect, do what's in the best interest of this country, learn how to create jobs through credit, credit creation and the whole string of uh, different uh, factors. All right. Well, Morris, many people share your hopes for bipartisanship for their sake and for the sake of the country, I suppose. We hope you're right. Thank you for joining right. us here on Thank the Inside Track. Much. Morris Offit, the chairman of Morris uh, Offit Capital Advisors. He's a board member at AIG.